Remembering all your passwords you know can be a pain, and one survey found that 20% of people keep track of their passwords in a notepad, 10% have a list near their computer, and 8% store them on their smartphones. But technology could make passwords a thing of the past, so says Dan Ackerman. He's senior editor with our partners at CNET, and he joins us at the table to explain. A world with no passwords, you see that really? Well, the system we have now is so unsustainable where you have to have a unique password for every site or service you use. You have to change them occasionally. They have copy, complicated formulas they need. You need a capital letter with lowercase yeah. seven digits or more, yeah. a symbol in there. Yeah. It, it, nobody, no rational human being can actually keep track of all these passwords. So what do you recommend? Yeah. Well, in, in the future, we're moving towards a biometric security system. You already have that, in a sense, on your iPhone where you log in with your fingerprint or other phones, or my laptop I can log in just by having it look at me. Uh, but right now, that's sort of a first-generation solution because it doesn't replace the password. It's sort of an overlay. The password is still there underlying everything. I heard something about a selfie password because I tried the fingerprint thing, Dan, and then I couldn't remember what finger I used. <laughs> that, that's, that tells you how much I use a fingerprint. I could not remember. I'm so used to typing it in things. So I... I abandoned that idea, but I heard something about a selfie password. Well, there's all the credit card companies and the banks in particular are very concerned about this, so they're trying all sorts of new things like using your phone as a two-factor authentication to get into an ATM machine, or uh, MasterCard is trying something where if you try to buy something online, it'll say, you know, the app, the MasterCard app on your phone will pop up and say, oh, take a picture of yourself, you know, show us your face and move it so we can tell it's not a video, you know, it's not like a photo, uh -huh. uh, and then we'll authorize the purchase. Like that, 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 that's coming soon. That's, that's sort of super early right in back. In fact, you tested some of this facial recognition. Let's take a look. I'm going to start off with a straight facial recognition here. I'm going to sit in front of the camera and the PlayStation 4 knows who I am. Now I'm going to step off camera, let it forget about me, and I'm going to come back without my eyeglasses on. I'm still me. Great. I'm going to step off camera again. This time I'm going to come back wearing a hat. Oh, and PlayStation 4 does not know who I am, but if I take the hat off, oh, I'm me again. Uh, so what's your take? It works pretty well. Uh, you know, in that particular thing, both of the new current game consoles have facial recognition built in, which is kind of fun. One of them, the hat fooled it. The other one, taking off the glasses, fooled it. My big test was then I went and I shaved. Yeah. And I came back clean shaven. I thought that would fool them. They both, they both recognized me right away. Mm, it's your eyes. I'm beginning to think the only thing to do is never put anything that's of value on your computer. And yet, everything we do is on our computers now, or more importantly, on our phones. It's almost impossible to avoid. But I like what you say, come up with a system. I, I hadn't thought about this. I think this is a good to idea. To remember passwords, yeah, you use the come up with a formula or something. That, that's a stopgap measure, though, because I think we can't go on the way we're going. I think biometric is definitely the future. Well, what is it? What's the formula? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you can just give an example. Yeah, Somebody yeah, yeah. Me, that, like, that, that's what we're talking about with happy. the Netflix with yeah. the N and the X, and you have your yeah. passphrase uh, and something unique. So all you have to do is remember that phrase and your formula. Uh, don't use the one that you know we show people as an example. Obviously, come up with your own. And you know what? It's the best of the bad solutions, but I don't think it's perfect. So let me ask you, if everything is now on your phone, even if you use an app like Dashlane or whatever that controls all your passwords, right? And a lot of people write down their passwords and other stuff on their phone. Does that bolster the argument that Apple is making, for instance, that enabling law enforcement to be able to unlock your phone gives them access to almost everything? If you think about how weak password security is overall, if you look at the list that come out every year, like one, two, three, four, it's like 20% of all passwords. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, you really do need that extra layer of encryption, which is uh, the case that Apple is making. That is increasingly important today to make sure your data is not just locked behind a password, but also encrypted. And think about it, uh, a month ago, who knew that their phone was encrypted, or whether it was or not, or whether they had that capability. Today, everybody knows it's very important that we're having this conversation now about that. Really interesting, Dan. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you.